Majesty. Majesty. Let me take your clock. This will keep you warm. Now follow me. You must be quiet, trust me. We can stop here for the night. No, we cannot reach Shaheen. People could recognize you. This is a safe house. It's hidden in the woods, far enough from the castle and other villages. I will start a fire now. Don't worry, we're safe here. There is a clean bed over there. should be comfortable for you to sleep on it. Sure, it's not a real chamber, but Majesty, I know you're confused, but but I cannot keep lying. It's not honorable, my prince. I have to confess that I, in fact, just broken my oath. I swore to protect the royal family in my last breath, and tonight, tonight I have with old evidence kidnapped you, my prince. I have known that you were betrothed to a foreign princess, a woman you never met, and that not only you were going to get married without true love, but also that you were going to be sent away in the country after the wedding. All for an alliance or a political marriage. I could not let that happen. No, no, please allow me to, to be fully honest. It's the least I can do. Because I've been so selfish and the reason is that I... I love you. It's true. My heart has been yours since the moment I saw you. I could not see you living an unhappy life. The first time I met you was at the King's Tournament to celebrate the end of the war against the tribes of the North. I had stood out on the battlefield. Your father had noticed me and many other warriors. He knighted us that day and I was so proud, but so nervous. I thought I was bringing honor to my family, that I was making a dream come true, that I could have never wished for anything else for the rest of my life. But then... Then, when it was my turn and I walked close to the throne, my eyes met yours and I, I felt robbed, robbed of my heart. I knew you were the thief. Yes, you, the noble prince, you are sitting there smiling at the new knights of the kingdom, smiling at me. I never had the privilege to be so close to the royal family. I was so bewitched by you that the commander had to clear his throat. I, I was so ashamed of myself and I knelt down in front of your father, the king, as he touched my shoulder with his sword and I pronounced my oaths. I didn't have the courage to look at you when I walked away. Before the moment, I thought I would have never wished for anything else in my life. Till the moment I realized that falling in love with a man I couldn't have. And I knew what I truly wanted was to hold you in my arms, kiss you endlessly, and be your wife. For months I've tried to fight these feelings, thinking about duty, thinking about honor, but it was all to no avail. And I know, I know you feel the same. I saw you looking at me the same way, I saw you blushing and smiling. That's been my only comfort. When two people feel so much passion towards each other that it's impossible to hide it. And you are such a pure soul that my heart could only swell with joy knowing that my feelings, although they had to stay a secret, they were reciprocated. Please don't look away from me. 
your shyness only enhances your beauty. I know you could not say anything, but a woman knows when a man burns for her, and vice versa. And of course you are a prince, and I am your knight, and we have to keep it a secret for fear what others would think. That's why tonight I took you away. The only way to leave our love is leaving the country. But I first need to hear you tell me this is something that you want as well. I don't want to force you to do anything. I don't want to force you to leave. But will you run away with me, my prince? If your answer is no, I will take you back to the palace immediately and confess my crime to the king and accept any punishment that will come from it. But if your feelings towards me are just as strong as mine, so much that I could hope for them to be openly expressed, tonight I need to hear it.